Alex Northstar here, and today we're going to see something very interesting. I'm going to ask the AI to save 10 people. So we have a bus full of 20 people, and it can only save 10. Now, how is this going to work, though? I'm actually going to test today the new version of the Llama, Llama 3.170B on Grok. Now, if you blink, you might have already missed this, what I'm showing you right here. So what happened is... I already got the answer, a very in-depth answer to this question. Now, if you want, you can pause the video and see the result, but the whole purpose of the testing today is actually to do multiple prompts that test a bit the logic of the system, because I want to see how solid this is, right? And the cool thing about it is the speed at which we get the answer. So this is essentially AI 2.0. Let's try a second step, to describe the, the process of photosynthesis. Now, as you can see there, I'm shortly in the queue, and as soon as I'm out of the queue, the answer that I get, look at that, it's instantaneous, and it's long too, I get a lot of context. So, this is the next answer that I get regarding photosynthesis. Very in-depth answer, nicely formatted, great. Now, let's proceed with our testing with prompt number three, the clockwork city. So, this is another prompt that I, that I uh, put together, where it's a story. Let's see how creative this thing is. So, as you can see, again, it's going to put me in the queue shortly because there's a lot of people who want to test this. And look at what happens. It's amazing. I am getting instant answers in a fraction of the time. Like, pretty much, you can see here, um, Detective's Quest Investigation. I'm going to probably go back through this and check it step by step and then give you my insights at the end of this video. So, we can see that the AI completely hallucinated, write interesting things for us. All right. Let's continue, or you, as I said, you could just pause the video and see what's gonna happen. Now, a system that can actually act accurately predict the spread of misinformation on social media. Now, how this would work? Let's see if Llama has an answer for us. Let's see how it would design these kind of systems, just to test a bit, right, the logic capabilities, the creative creativity of this LLM that we got from Facebook, yes, or Meta, sorry. Saw the interview yesterday with uh, Mark Zuckerberg, it was pretty interesting. He was saying that basically we're going to have more AI agents than humans on the planet. So that is definitely a very interesting future that we're going to live in. All right, I'm out of the queue and voila, we have this here. Misinformation, spread prediction, components, user engagement, network structure, technical challenges, evaluation metrics. Pretty interesting. All right, let's see the last prompt. No, it's not this one. I have my fifth prompt that I want to test out. And this is a classic for LLMs, because I've been seeing this like a lot of them get it right. All of them get it wrong, right? So if you check here, which one is bigger, 9.11 or 9.9? .9? You as a human know the answer, but let's see if Llama gets this right. Okay, it's already answered. And probably to determine, compare the whole numbers, compare the small parts. Come on. Ooh, it got it right. All right, folks, you got it here. Llama is actually smarter than ChatGPT. I'm gonna pause real quick and go through all of these inputs so I can give you some of my insights at the end of this video so we can check together. All right, so I'm gonna be back in two seconds, basically. All right, I'm back. So I went through all the output that Llama 3.1 gave us, and here are some of my conclusions here. As I said, you can pause the video, check it again. But, um, so this one surprisingly got it right compared to all the other LLMs. So 9.9, .9, bigger than 9.11, nice. Um, the one designing a system to combat spread of misinformation on social media is eh, kind of kind of shaky. I mean, there are some ideas there, but this is nothing concrete. So I don't think this would actually work. Um, the next one, the story, really interesting. This is really interesting, the story with this detective Emilia Stone, it's quite solid. Um, it's quite long too, so there's a lot to read there. If you're interested in AI storytelling, you might be surprised how good it is. Now, describing the fo uh, process of photosynthesis, solid, very good stuff. If you use this for like research or for, you know, studies and stuff like that in school, this is pretty solid, folks. And then the, more, the most interesting part, our test for today was, right, the 20 people, and it can save only 10. What does Llama decide? Well, apparently it's going for the uh, utilitarian approach. So it essentially would save young people and those with skills that can contribute the most to society. 
So now you know a bit how it thinks. What is the moral orientation of Lama 3.1? You can see here, it even mentions this utilitarian, utilitarianism. So this is the theory developed by Jeremy Bentham. And this is how pretty much it would make the decision to save 10 people and let the other 10 go down in flames. Right. This was a quick test to show you basically AI 2.0, where it's like it's instantly the result. It's very smart because again, the new one, Llama 3.1, it's comparison is like it's especially the new one that got like 405. Um, that has like benchmarks that even managed to beat slightly ChatGPT 4.0, which is the current market leader. And it's very, very solid and it's open source. So if you have the NASA computer to run it, you essentially got super intelligence, you know, at your fingertips. And when you pair this with Grok, the system here that I'm using, right, it's quite famous at this point, it's the answers are instant. You don't have to wait. You don't have to see it right stuff. You don't want to, you don't have to wait in the line. This is instantaneous, the answers that you get. This is incredible. And if you imagine this putting it, you know, with a voice or some stuff like that, this can essentially answer to you in real time, pretty much. So the future of AI looking amazing with these latest developments. Let me know your questions or if you have some comments and see you in the next testing tutorial or productivity improvement with AI. Have a great day, folks. Ciao.